Amen. Tracy. Yo. Amanda! Amanda! You better not be! Not in my house! Fuck you, Michael! Go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Michael, go away! Oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. She said you had an arrangement. You and I are gonna have an arrangement. I'm gonna arrange your fucking funeral. I'm really sorry, bro. I'll cop the session. I promise. You are dead, man! Oh. Fuck! Dead! Come here! Ah! Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a brick in my bed. <laughs> Bullshitting. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it, I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! This truck your? Guy's doing some work for me. He'll get it back. Might have a dead body to do it, but he'll get it back. Oh, so we killing this dude? He'll wish he was dead. Is that a problem? Shit, the dog shit shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. He's gonna lift. Creeping on this asshole. The fuck is he doing? Throw some more hip, you stupid hippie fuck! Fuck, man, I think he lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. You see that little piece of shit? This track here. I'm done. Hey! You yeah, in one of these fucking houses? Yeah, keep your eye out. You left this car, check it out. Little pricks up there, look. Oh shit, Coach doing all right for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fine! You got the wrong idea, man! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh. Bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You sorry now if you wasn't already! Oh, hell yeah, bro! You know what time it is! Man, I think that shit's coming down, man. Push the pedal, homie. Are you fucking serious, nigga? Ah! Fucking A! Let's see how he liked that. Whoa, man. Fuck. Fuck him. And fuck his deck. Hey, homie. 
I think you put a little more than a deck down. Yeah, it's a foolish man who builds his house on sand, baby. Hey, man, I don't think my boy Matthew was thinking truck when he wrote that shit. Hey, you hit me! Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Hey, man, that's a mean motherfucker. That's right behind me. You kidding me? Yeah, can you do something? I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. We can handle this, right? Screw up. Hey, let's go. Let's leave him behind. Ice that motherfucker. If these are Mark Madrasa's boys, man, it's a lot more where they came from. Shit, man. Get rid of him. Pop that dude. Fuck out! Where are we on this? This a misunderstanding, motherfucker! Can you see him? Are they still back there? I think you slipped him, man. All right, let's go back home. Wow, shit. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range, work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't fucked like that in years. Oh, yes. Fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of mad. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me, we handled it. Whoever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, I've known worse. We just handled a few low ranking plans. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second guessing. Smells no good, man. Woo! Yeah, doing something for a change. Ha! Man, you know what? You are wasted sitting by that fucking fool, man. You're right. I need to do something. Scotch and sunshine is sitting on my ass. Fuck that. I'm better than that. Damn skippy, homie. All that knowledge up there is winding and dying, dawg. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. Uh, uh, did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. <laughs>
Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was a thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuilds, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? Looking forward to it. You fucker. Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something. So why not help each other? I got to make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <laughs> Rounds of the mother. 
the shit, we bless that ass with cosmic energy, baby. Let me check in on my man Hannibal's out on the street. Your way. That sucks, man. Shit all the time. Whatever. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something. I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old. Got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you got to fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. You fucking shit! Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you wanna run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. 
Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Wow. Your job is actually kind of stressful too, ain't it? These hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> Bear with me, all right? You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> my son probably wrote this, that little shitbag. And now we scan. Might be why I get all these migraines. Seriously, it, it might be why. There it goes. Ugh, I need to write some product, Brohim. I'm feeling the itch. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Did you IM me? Send me the file. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Oh, ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. How's your air guitar? Oh, uh... Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive-aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing C's! Hold on, I'll buzz you out. This is it. Hey, am 
Michael. Hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Oh, no! I'm watching Shame Famer up. Shame! Tough fucking tits! Give me up! Mime's on fire! Woo! I've never seen someone set fire to their crotch before. Fantastic! The most racist guy in America. You all disgust me! America loves you. You are in the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage! Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24 seven. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as competitive. Oh, hold on a second. Fuck you. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Hello? Oh! Get security! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no,